What's up, YouTubers? Larry Teacher Sim here. So today I got something new. I got my new PC build done. If you, hopefully you saw that on the channel already. Kind of went over a, a brief overlook of the new PC. I uh, built this one totally with VR in mind. And uh, to progress as VR progresses through the coming years. So I didn't want to be stuck with building a new PC and... Uh, two years from now I'll think man I'm gonna have to build a whole nother PC because I ran out of <laughs> uh, CPU uh, strength you know so uh, it's easy enough to upgrade your GPUs every year or every two years um, as, as funds allow but uh, eventually if you're like me you run out of CPU uh, range and uh, so that's what happened to me so upgrade it and uh, now I'm running i7 7820x uh, 3.6 gigahertz. It's overclocked to 4.1 right now. Um, my RAM is 32 gigs of G skill. Uh, it's it's running XMP right now at 3200 megahertz. I'm still using my same graphics card, uh, 1080 Ti from MSI, and this is now running an X299 platform. Uh, so and oh, and also my games. All my games are running off of uh, a RAID. Uh, setup of uh, two one terabyte uh, NVMe M.2 uh, hard drives, so everything loads a lot faster than it did off the SSD. Uh, especially like R Factor 2 loads so much faster uh, than it did uh, running off of my HDD. If I had a SH HD HD, you know the hybrid hard drives and. Uh, for most of my Steam games. So now everything's running off of the uh, um, NVMe. So anyway, it uh, runs pretty dang smooth, I gotta tell you. But, um, you know, what is what does a PC build uh, approaching the 4K mark get you these days with VR? And uh, besides an empty wallet, uh, <laughs> let's, look at it. let's look at it here. So I went to options here. I'm pretty much able to max out everything. And now this is using Oculus Rift right now. Uh, Samsung Odyssey, I did some testing with that, and uh, certainly the settings went a lot higher than expected, uh, but not as high as you can get with the Rift just because of the screen. But this won't be as long of a uh, explanation as, as my other uh, Project Cars 2 uh, VR settings uh, that you've probably already seen before, but you're able to turn on everything pretty much uh, post processing filters on exterior and interior sun flare on full bloom on uh, raindrops yes that's just basically the raindrops on your visor uh, when you're in like an open open top car uh, the sun god rays I'll leave them on yes I like them dirt screen dirt again that's like on your visor uh, on uh, cockpit mirrors of course on now go to the performance. Now I'm running in virtual reality wise. It's set to one. I'm running off the. Um, I really have it at 1.5 because uh, I'm using the Oculus uh, Trake tool uh, to run it, so I can see my FPS uh, performance, my Oculus performance, uh, why I'm on track and making adjustments. So right now it's setting off of that. It's at 1.5 super sampling, despite what you just saw there. Now. Performance and 1.5 is kind of the uh, that's you know anything over 1.5 tends to be uh, just more hit on your uh, hardware than it is visual effects. Uh, Juice isn't really worth the squeeze much higher than 1.5, in my opinion. Um, a little bit of placebo effect, I think. Uh, I normally run this in, in 1080p uh, for this second screen, but since the video going on, I got it on 100 hertz full screen, so y'all can see everything. Uh, and of course keep in mind I'm actually recording too so that does take an FPS hit as well uh, you know you, you expect another 5 FPS drop although the NVIDIA experience uh, is, is f really optimized compared to say like using fraps but anyway I digress uh, texture uh, resolution on high texture filtering 16 same as before uh, V-Sync no nope. MSAA now this used to be on low before uh, now it's on high uh, which is good and uh, you know what, I think the other video, I may have had this at lower medium. Uh, I can't remember with this Oculus, but I ended up having to turn it back down to low and keep it there because there was too much fluctuation in my performance 
uh, between uh, more crowded tracks and, and less crowded tracks. So uh, I'm running it on high. Uh, see reflections, medium. Uh, this is really your reflections in the rain, and we're going to do a rain track. So all these settings are set up for the rain, uh, light storm and, and heavy storm, and then of course it goes off into uh, uh, a clear day. So you can see the drawing of the track too. So it's just a 10 minute race, I think. Uh, so you don't have to stick around for the whole race, but I'm going to keep it recording uh, just so you can see the FPS, whether it, it drops or not. But the reflections, if you're having some problems, if you're not running as beefy as a system, uh, this one actually makes a pretty big difference. You can drop it on down the low. That's as low as you can go. Uh, and that'll help in the rain. Uh, it doesn't really help anywhere else. Uh, environment map, this is of course your uh, quality of in-game reflections. Um, off your off your car windows and all that stuff. I leave it on medium. That looks good. Uh, if you're running in the daylight, sun, sunny days, uh, you can crank that up to a high, and be just fine. Car detail ultra the same as before. Track detail on low. Played around with this one. You can actually crank it on up to high, and it works uh, fine for the most part. Not in the rain, but on a uh, sunny day. You can see more track detail, but uh, not track detail, but more people in the stands. To me, it's kind of a waste to, to increase that. Uh, too much of a performance hit, so I don't, I don't use it. Uh, pit crew detail is only when you hit the pit crews that don't really matter. I uh, leave it on all shadow detail on medium. Now in the this is in the rain. Now out of the rain, I leave it on high. Uh, it's it runs great on high. Uh, I think I was running none on <laughs> before with the Oculus, so uh, big improvement there. Enhanced mirror, actually you can run this on, depending on how many uh, mirrors you're running in your car, uh, depending on what car you have, uh, it does take a little bit of a hit. In the rain, it, it's it's a little bit more of a hit. On a sunny day, you can leave it on, but I leave it off just to forget about it because uh, it's, it's such a gradual increase in resolution in your mirrors. Uh, and then it hits your, your FPS, you know, another 5 FPS uh, cost worth. Rendering frames ahead is 4. Detail grass is still off. Particle level on high and density on high as before. And again, this is running 1.5 super sampling. So I'm going to jump into a match or into a race and let it play out. And y'all get to see the FPS as it goes, as it unfolds. I'll back off a little bit on track and... Uh, and, and you know just so I can stay with people because it of course hit your FPS higher. Uh, quick play. I uh, tried this with the drop tops as well. You know the uh, open top cars are the closed in cars which you have a little bit more going on with these with the wipers and stuff. Uh, same same results. Now what I did notice I changed this to 12. It seems to work better in the rain. Uh, 15 in the sun all day long is fine. Um, and the rain 12 I ran 15 as well and it's fine you just tend to hit into the 45 FPS a little bit more often uh, but anyway you'll see at 12 it doesn't hardly land in the FPS in the uh, 45 FPS range so find my headset here so let's check it out I may comment as we go just to let you know I turned off my transducer so it's not extra loud in here so the mic doesn't pick it up but as far as inside visuals of the car it actually looks really freaking good uh, for the oculus so uh, i got a nice shine uh, to the carbon fiber here which is nice and the shadow effect is actually pretty good still at 90 It is raining. This is where you'd start to hit FPS drop. There you go, 45, and it's back up to 90. Which that's really good. 45 again, back up to, no, not back up yet. Oddly enough, I just ran this circuit, and uh, it had dropped, it had punched back up to 90 a little bit quicker. But I wasn't recording, so that's, there you go, that's why, because of the recording. That recording, I was able to run that whole stretch 
not EFPS, so there's a difference there for you. What recording does for you. Now this area I still dropped at 45, even off recording, and it went right back up to 90, just about as quick as you saw it did now. What is nice, also nice about this, although you know you're able to run with higher details, that's great. But there's less stutter, or there's actually zero stutter. When you go past in a car before, it'd be a little bit, even though it was running 90 FPS, it'd be a little bit stutter uh, passing them like, like that. Like that was as quick as I could snap my head back to watch that guy fall behind me. It was extremely just buttery smooth. As before, if you know VR, uh, you get a little bit of a stutter effect at times. And uh, with the new build, do not get that at all. Reflections are looking great off this car in front of me. Uh, the details of the, in the ass end of that car look really good. Of course, I am running my motion rig too. Uh, so, you know, I got more things going on than your, maybe your average guy. Where's he at? And this is generally on the front straight is where it'll drop to 45 FPS a lot of times in the old. Uh, nowadays, it doesn't, it doesn't affect me. I'll let him come on around me again. That's so smooth, that car coming up beside me like that. And then missing me with all that. You know, I didn't drop into the 45 FPS range or nothing there either, which is awesome. no uh, extra blurriness for me so yeah really impressed with how smooth and stable the new system is in VR Whoa. <laughs> right here my, my, my chair shake here got some bumps going on might need to tighten down a screw in my chair Yeah, in the rain, this is actually really, really good. Uh, I'm impressed. Of course, in the sun, you know, it's less demanding. You don't have all these soft particles hitting your windscreen. Your windshield wipers aren't going back and forth. You don't have raindrops on your car. It's a lot less to resolve. Uh, so, be able to run these high settings all the time. And actually, if I run the shadows at high right now, uh, I would still be hitting at 90 FPS in this situation. It's just that it would have a, the, the part that I would have a harder time climbing out at 90 FPS is when I'm gathered with, with you know, eight other cars right around me, so. I think I got the AI on just 95% right now. Wanted to have them on enough where I can catch them if I needed to. If I <laughs> went off the track on accident making this video and I could catch up to them. I love how when you hit the rain it just pushes your car around, puddles rather. That's very smooth looking back at this guy. Man, if you don't have VR for sim racing, whoo, you're missing out. It is the way to go. And it's only going to get better, I believe. Five minutes remaining. There's your five minute mark if you want to turn the video off. That's fine. If not, enjoy the race. Whoo, man. Did a nosedive in that puddle something with a uh, full motion rig you feel more uh, you don't you don't feel that just through your, your wheel um, you just feel your wheel push around but not the actual seat pushes you forward because you did a nosedive by hitting a big ass puddle on the track pretty cool so yeah you can see all this mist coming off I'm still at this locked in at the 90 FPS which is great
Now, when the guys hit wreck and stuff and hit these tires and stuff, they go flying. Sometimes you'll drop down as well uh, out of the 40, into the 45 range. Okay, I'll go ahead and pass it. Nice drying out, big old puddle. That's why you hear my seat making that clank because uh, my front end of my car did a nosedive. Come on now. Bears work pretty good, even not on having the extra high resolution. Puddle. That's a big puddle. Yeah, well, fast as that, and I slow down. <laughs> now, you can see the track grind out. It's good. Now coming up also, we'll be revisiting our Factor 2 and the set of Corsa. Of course, I'm giving you my new uh, VR settings for that. And that's of course with the Oculus and the Samsung Odyssey. Odyssey does, uh, not, it, it looks better in the Odyssey for sure. Uh, but it uh, definitely hits your frame rate more, but not as bad. And the same thing out of the Odyssey is what I noticed is I was running R Factor 2 the other day with everything post processing on high, everything maxed out, shadows on max, and all that. And I hit 45 FPS here and there, or more often. Um, but man, it looks so good. And I couldn't really tell when I was going in asynchronous mode, it was really strange. And it was buttery smooth. I mean, you know, you're passing people and breaking your neck to look back at that car you just passed. Even though the race is in front of you and not behind you. But just, you know, for instance, you know, in the same scenario, it was still just buttery smooth. Uh, cars didn't shimmer by you as you passed them. They, uh, they just glided by you as you passed them. So everything looks faster at 90 FPS, of course, but uh, the smoothness that you're getting it with a better with a, a, a CPU that matches the GPU's performance uh, is actually a pretty big difference. I'm surprised. I am running out of grip. Front end is pushing. That that. Guys running away from me. The uh, interior of the car looks just beautiful. It looks better now in the rift than it used to, I'll tell you that. These little scenarios of switching, you know, right turn, left turn, and stuff are just so smooth. You can visually smooth. <laughs> My seat's moving me around, that's not very smooth, but just from shifts. Road surface. Oh shit, 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 shit. Blew that. The front tires are just toast.
I'm gonna cool them off in the water here. Sliding around. All right, that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed that look. Yeah, it's some new um, FPS settings with the new build. More to come. Catch you on the catch you next time on the track. I'm out.